Hi there, I'm Ivana Faye and welcome to Falma Room, episode 65. Okay, so all we really need is to get some Devil Strand actually planted. Ooh. It looks like <laughs> random patches of rich soil are popping up around here. I thought it was only supposed to be like immediately around the spot that the uh, that the sprites are made, but apparently not. Apparently not. Apparently it's it can be anywhere. So all right. Well, I hope his resurrection sickness disappears soon, so that he can get back to it. And we still have poor Nenya <laughs> still on a meat hook, but as long as they're not eating her, it's fine. Okay, cool, Mer. Prioritize sewing, yes, please prioritize sewing. <laughs> Let's ignore these trees a little bit, I think. Let's put them down. There we go. And there. Let's get some growing done. Okay, we've had an earthquake. All oh, right, right in the middle there, that's fine. Doesn't look like it's going to have hurt anything. Okay, quest available, a psychic suppression for Nothacy. Okay, a vengeful machine persona is threatening the members of Kaima Pilgrims of St. Voris. Anima Master Nothacy Aravel wants you to send a message to the persona accepting responsibility for their transgressions. If I do, the persona will turn its anger on me. A psychic suppression wave will reduce the consciousness of all males around White Mountain for 6.4 days. Oh, okay, that's Jade. We could get Jade for that. Oh, 6.4 days to reduce the consciousness of all males. Well, we only have Sir Callan and Hertel as males in our colony, so it might be worth it. <laughs> it might be worth it. Let's accept then. For the Jade. Yep. Psychic suppression. Okay. Well, hopefully <laughs> that won't destroy the colony or anything. Mm. Consciousness 50%, so that's not bad. And the pods have arrived. 290 Jade. That is worth it. I don't care what else you've got to do, you're doing this. Okay, awesome, that's looking a lot better. Hopefully we can get the rest of this field planted and even this one, because I'm not I'm not so sure how big of a, a range this psychic cornucopia does. So I want to get as much planted as I can just in case it does like a huge, huge area. But yeah, the Devil Strand is now fully planted, so that is very good. And I guess we're just we're just waiting for the rest. Brilliant. Okay, now come here and stand here. That's kind of central. In fact, just a little bit over, just in case. Okay. So um undraft. No, okay, gear. Psychic cornucopia. Let's drop it there. And Reserved by someone else. Guys, stop it. Uh, prioritize hauling. There we go. So, yeah, activate it and we'll see what this does. Oh, yes. Okay, that that, <laughs> that was every single... Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, that is perfect. That was a huge area that, that, that does. That is a huge, huge area. And I'm here for it because we absolutely definitely need all of this doing. Oh, fantastic. There we go, yes. Harvesting botched. Okay, so. I really need my best plant cutters to do this. So. Uh, Cyrilind is actually not that great. So Callan is terrible. So let's just take him off completely. Um. Aylwin as well. Let's get her off. So it's Ariente. Oh, not Elante. Dear Lord. Uh, you know what? Let's take that off there. Dan, it's just going to be Kulame, Cyrilind, and Ariente. Okay, well, 
Ladies, please. Let's get this done. Hotel is no longer incapable of walking. Brilliant. He's up and about. Oh, gosh. Being thrown around there. Um, What are you doing? Oh, he's making the dimensional mana pocket. Well, thank you, Sir Callan. That's lovely of you. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, cargo pods apparel as well. Where is that? An Ozima leather button-down shirt. That is creepy. Sleeping. Uh, no. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. You're not going to sleep. You're going to have to harvest. Now. Go use that. Uh, in fact, let's do that one first. Just to make sure. I have no idea how long that will take. Oh. Oh, okay. Why is he moving so slowly? Don't tell me he has, uh... Arcane weakness, okay. And the psychic suppression. Alright. I thought at first he might have the uh, food poisoning, but no. His consciousness is just low and will be for the next six days or something. God. That's crazy. Oh well, at least at least we do have some devil strand now. <laughs> at least we have it. Okay, let's put Almost everybody back onto growing. We should have, uh, we should have enough. Okay, and that's the plant pots finished. <laughs> she's still excellent now. Yeah, she's still excellent. Damn. Okay. She's getting close to level seventeen. All right. And hopefully that will be an upgrade. We have 636 Devil Strand so far, and that's just from those those short those few sections. So yeah, all of that Devil Strand should give us enough to do more than one, more than one Master Scroll. Hopefully. Wow. Okay, his Master Scroll thing is Blood Moon, which will call forth demons of rage and terror. That sounds amazing. We're definitely going to have to start putting some points into that, but I'd rather... <laughs> I think I'd rather get his Ignite Blood up a little bit first. Yeah, let's do... let's put that into Wildfire. He doesn't have any kind of mood about the fact that he was killed and then brought back to life. Nothing like that. Okay. Okay! Oh, he's making it really quickly, actually. <laughs> Good good that's awesome sweet now just uh, clear prioritized and then read that please so does he have it does he have it now he does okay brilliant well uh, <laughs> come here then right here quick sharp please and let's get this resurrection done. Okay. Resurrection comes at a price. They will forfeit 35% of their skills and might develop a detrimental health condition. We have um, a graceful resurrection, which should, hopefully, yeah, prevent the chance of uh, side effects by 10%. And the reduces skill loss by 10% per skill level, so it's 30% 30% chance to uh, not get a side effect, so that's brilliant. Uh, well, let's just do it. I, I kind of really need I really need a Nenya. Let's do this. Um, I guess we'll see how she comes back. So she has 20, 20 and 20. All the rest don't really matter. Oh. Ah, okay. Heal her. She's got, she's got liver cancer. 
Oh my gosh. Well. Okay, she has lost two levels off of those. All of those. Presumably she's lost two levels off of everything, then? I'm, I'm guessing. But... She does have... She does have her skills. Yeah, I don't know if she's lost anything off of these. It doesn't look like it. So, brilliant. Uh, rescue Nenya. So it did work, it just didn't work immediately. <laughs> uh, that was me thinking that it had failed and there was this beam of light coming down on her and working on her. Well, fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. So how is she now? Uh, she's okay. She has resurrection sickness and resurrection weakness. And of course, the cancer. Do we have a liver? I don't I don't think we do. No. We do not have a liver. Well, uh where's her her let's do this. Uh Tend to Nenya. Let's see if we can help her carcinoma. 130. I mean, it is in remission and we're just going to have to switch out the liver at some point, but yeah, that's good. She is back. Even if she's she's not tip-top. But she's alive and that's the main thing. We just really need all of this harvesting now, guys. Like, really need it harvesting. Um... Yeah, poor Nenya. Poor Nenya. Okay. Let's put her on those. Um, two on doctoring, wasn't it? Handling? Not so much, I don't think. No, we'll leave her on four for that. She was definitely more of the constructor and minor category. Yeah. Okay, let's leave it at that for her. So when she eventually is able to walk around... Ah, gosh. I'm so glad it was just liver cancer. I'm, I was a little bit worried that she was going to have something wrong with her brain. Considering, you know, she'd kind of had it destroyed. But, no, just liver cancer, that's okay. <laughs> that is okay. We can work with that. So, Nenya. She doesn't have a master power. Master scroll power? Something like that. Okay, let's put Kulamere's points into endurance, which she's almost maxed out at, so... Don't know what she's going to do later. Cyriland. One point available. Hmm. I could... I could try this psychic shock thing. That sounds amazing. The Warlock will use the minds of others to propagate the Psychic Wave. They'll attempt to destroy the mind of any enemy touched by the Psychic Energy. That's pretty awesome. Uh, let's increase the damage of it then. Sounds amazing. And we'll just have to make that, that scroll for her. Now that we can. <laughs> okay, so Kalan has three points available. That must have been quite a boost to him then. So let's stick them into spirit, I think. You don't have one yet? You have two, okay. Holy Wrath, that would be amazing for her as well. Oh, level one, allies within the field of Holy Wrath become temporarily invulnerable. And they're healed for a small amount at level two. Oh, it bestows might. Oh my gosh, let's, <laughs> let's put them into that then. Oh, it's two points for just one. That's amazing though. We're definitely going to have to make that scroll. We're going to have to make all of these master scrolls, really. I think we were doing a uh, light lance for her, for Ariente. So, let's increase the damage and duration, that's fine. And Elante has two points, that's amazing. Mana Deviant, let's continue with that just for the Earth Sprites. Increases the speed they work by. Let's just do that one. <laughs> Meteor does sound like it would be incredible to use though. Yeah, okay, we are back to full strength, technically. 
Even if Nenya is temporarily laid up with cancer and resurrection sickness, she's alive. And that's really all that matters. Fantastic. Okay, did I get rid of those? No, I didn't get rid of the babies. Okay, let's do that now. And Arthur can be bonded to Nenya once more. Brilliant. Uh, Nums and Joran Hunt has been failed. Well, that's fine. We didn't want to do that one anyway. All right. Well, he can get on those whenever, whenever he can. Um, yeah, Devil Strand. Okay. 150 Devil Strand for Blood Moon. Wow. We should definitely, definitely have enough. Oh, yeah. In fact, the only thing I'm worried about now is my unrefined magicite. That's a lot of unrefined magicite. Oh, we got 3,000. We should be fine. <laughs> we should be okay. So, production. Where's our hydro jelly farm? Let's get another one of those. Actually, I don't know if we'll be able to because we don't have enough cloth, do we? Yeah, we do. We do. Okay. Good. It's not a lot, but it's enough. Everything's kind of stopped while we wait for the, uh, <laughs> the stuff to get harvested and replanted. I do like that. It's kind of funny. Quest available. Provisional laborers. Oh. First, First Archmagister Cara Hiljaris of Istadistia needs extra hands to help set up a settlement. She's asking me to lend her two colonists for six days. Let's be honest. I don't need a low shield pack or silver. And I definitely don't need those beds. The only thing I could do it for would be goodwill to keep them as allies, because that's going to run out soon. But two colonists for six days? I don't think I can afford that. Who would I send? Actually, probably I'd send Hertel and Elante just because Hertel's consciousness is down. And Elante eh, doesn't have great potential right now. Uh, I think it would be a mistake to send them away right now though. But let's do it anyway. <laughs> let's do it anyway, we might as well. Oh, we've got a plague. Ravager 1. Oh, baby. Well, never mind. Oh, there it is. Right there. Okay, well, Elante. Get in the shuttle and Hertel. Get in the shuttle. The problem with sending Elante, of course, is that this this tree is now not going to be looked after for six days. But, hey, there we go. Our relations with Istadistia have gone to 100. <laughs> so at least we've got that going for us. But, yeah, I mean... We have Kulamere and Ariente to keep their trees up, so... Eh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, her casanoma has disappeared. A group of travellers from Iliad's rem Iliad Remnants of Spell Al are passing by. Okay. Oh, Muffalo. Let's hunt the Muffalo, that would be nice. It's going well, it is going well. And now that we've got resurrection, hopefully... I won't need to worry anymore about losing colonists. In fact, I wonder, could it have worked on any of these? I mean, they've definitely um, rotted. So, <laughs> they've definitely rotted. I really doubt they would work on those. I'm just wondering if it would bring them back as a zombie or something. I mean, the, the things that would be terribly wrong with them. Ugh, it would be awful, but... You know, we do have... Uh, it is part of Rimworld of Magic, and we do have a Necromancer class from Rimworld of Magic, so would it work like that, or would it would it just not work at all? <laughs> I think it would be funny if we brought back a zombie. I don't know. Oh, his immunity is 62%. Okay. He's gonna be fine. Alright, well, just a little bit of the Devil Strand to... Uh... Hey? Oh, Nenya's awake. Brilliant. Just a little bit of the Devil Strand to finish harvesting and the replanting, although there's no point in replanting it, I guess. Because it's <laughs> it's definitely not going to have long enough to uh, grow again, but never mind. Oh, 
Yep, she is definitely back. Hey, and she's working. Brilliant. Her plants is down to level 7. That's a shame. But at least she still she still has the passions. They haven't disappeared, so that's good. Oh, that's a lot of devil strand. That is a lot of devil strand. That's what we like to see. <laughs> that is definitely what we like to see. Okay. And we'd have quite a bit more cloth actually now. We could probably get um, the other side of this carpet done. It was just regular cream carpet, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's do that then. All of my um, shelves are full up. Steel palette. Let's just do that. Let's stick it there and then we'll see how it looks first. And if we should bother changing these out. Um, yeah, let's increase her toxic reserves. Why not? In fact, does she have anything from her magic? She does, okay. Um, spirit, definitely. Zero of eight, and these is a four. Okay. Then, yeah, I could probably deconstruct these and replace them with those. That sounds fantastic, actually. There we go. That's a lot better. Ah, Nenya is working on the dimensional mana pocket. Again. <laughs> She's got it quite low, so maybe she will actually finish it. Okay. There we go. Finally, we've got a dimensional mana pocket. Oh my gosh. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That took so long to do. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. The dimensional mana pocket stores a tremendous amount of mana and has a large distribution coverage area, but it's slower than the arcane capacitor to redistribute mana when it's needed. Okay. So they'll they'll store some magic when they when they can. Yep. Just like they do with the uh, arcane capacitor. But that's fine. That is fine. They definitely. Okay, um, no, it doesn't. It doesn't have a an area, which is a shame. That one does now. <laughs> it does show its uh, area. This one doesn't. So again, I'm not going to know. I guess. Oh, maybe it'll show up now. It's got some mana. No. No. Okay. Well, maybe it's just it's just that huge of an area. <laughs> I don't know. I do not know. But yeah, we've done it! Finally! Oh my gosh. Although, from the look of things, that should be... That looks like more of a centerpiece type of thing. The spinning sphere type of um, artifact that you'd expect to see in a, a, magic, a magic room. <laughs> that kind of thing should be a, a centerpiece, but I like it where it is. It's fine. Yeah. I don't think there's any reason to move it. Okay, we've got Psychic Shock done. Fantastic. So that was Cyrilyn's power, wasn't it? Yes, so you can go and read that now. There we go, Psychic Shock. That's amazing. Gosh, okay. And he needs to now make the Blood Moon spell. Okay. And then we'll have that ready for her tell when he returns. That's quite a lot. That's quite a lot of um, rich soil there now. I probably should have started it here instead then. If it was going to go wildly outside the area like that has. We could have had uh, some speedy devil strand. But never mind. <laughs> never mind. It probably still wouldn't have helped. All right, there we go. He's making the Blood Moon scroll now. It's going to be a while. It's going to be a long while before uh, Hetel returns. But at least he'll have it here. Ready for him. Work left six. Come on. Continue with that. Honestly. There we go. Just not enough cloth. <laughs> Just not enough cloth for that. 
Oh well. There we go. At least we got a hydro jelly farm. So we should get um, our glow pods. And we'll be able to put them back in here. And light that area up. Alright. And we are back to a point where... <laughs> Where we can actually get some decent food into our colonists. Because we've actually got a good harvest going. I do like rice. It, it does, it grows very quickly. It's definitely the plant of choice for a cold climate, I think. <laughs> oh, she was working on the wall. Okay. Well, that's good. We do need that wall being made. And you're mining. Brilliant. Still nothing good in these hills. <laughs> Just need to point that out. Still nothing good. Okay, they'll return in 3.1 days. Brilliant. And I assume that the um, psychic suppression lasts 6.1 days. That should be coming off soon as well then. Because it's already lasted 6.1 days. Uh, and what was it? Caused by a psychic suppression for North Sea. I've completed it, I know. 6.4, okay. It lasts for 6.4 days. So we've got 0.3 days to go <laughs> before the psychic suppression will wear off, and so Callan can be back to full consciousness. Mm. Oh, quest available hospitality for friends. Well, give me a second, I want to check through my. Um, Skill points first. Okay, Kulama has one. Let's put that in endurance. Cyrilind has one. Let's let's put a point into insanity then. Increase the radius of psychic shock. Okay, and you don't have any? You have one. Okay. Yeah, put that in clarity. And Ariente has one. Yeah, let's put that into focus. Decreasing the mana cost. Okay. Alright, so this quest. Hospitality for friends. Filsa Delvani, High Master of Great House Barrow, recently rescued two members from an enemy jail. She wants me to guard them at White Mountain until she can send a shuttle to collect them in 25 days. The members will not do any work. Uh, This is Great House Barrow. I think I'd do it for the goodwill. I do want to... Oh gosh. A crafting skill trainer. Oh. Damn, that would be awesome. I am trying to get Ariente's crafting up, but the goodwill, I don't want to lose them as allies. I, I won't use the skill trainer. I'll do it for the goodwill. So let's do that. Okay, jump to location. Chimpanzee and Batros Zalo. Yeah, Batros Zalo. Okay, okay. So they're not going to do anything. Oh god, they're really not going to do anything, are they? Well, let's put their magic up to one so that they can at least do that. Wow. Well, they can still be on the same schedule as everybody else. Even if they're not doing anything on that schedule. They're certainly not going to be on fine meals, so you can have simple. Yeah, and luckily they're not prisoners. <laughs> Although, I suppose, is that really lucky? I mean, if they were prisoners, we could have kept them in one area. Could technically keep them in these beds here. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's put you in there and the other one in here. That should keep our, our allies as actually allies. <laughs> So, the Kaima Pilgrims of St. Boris still don't like us, but Istadistia and Great House Barrow are our allies. Dominion of the Sun. Oh. Minus 58. But our natural goodwill with them is minus 10, so that should move towards minus 10 on its own. If they do send a raid, and it's after that ticks down again, then you know, if we get one or two, uh, if we get one or two prisoners, that could be our ticket into getting to neutral status, and then working our way back up to a good relationship. So, 
Yeah. As long as they don't drop anyone on us right now while I've got people away, we should be okay. There we go. Okay, it's it's been dissipated. Brilliant. Move that, please. There we go. Okay, that looks a lot better. So yeah, I think this is probably where I'm going to leave it. So I'm very glad that we managed to get that done. Oh, more popping up here. And next time, I guess we're just waiting for um, my colonists to come back. We have a long time to keep these two. And then, yeah, we're waiting to see if Dominion of the Sun will drop any more people on us. I hope they do. I hope they don't as well, but I hope they do. Kind of. <laughs> so that I can get some prisoners and actually work it out with them a little bit better. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button. I upload five videos a week, so subscribe and you'll be notified when those go live. Hit the bell to update your notifications. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.